That's a good question, man. So I just got asked about when you're travel filmmaking or filmmaking on the fly, uh, or even documentary filmmaking, how do you deal with um, getting somebody into the film uh, and making them comfortable with being filmed or even them filming you and make, making them comfortable with that? And it's kind of like a general question that deals with this whole aspect of it. And my answer to that would be, there's a number of situations where you kind of, you could interact with friends or people who don't know you that well or even complete strangers and even want them in the film or maybe even want them to kind of film you doing something. And the way you deal with this is just, you've just got to be honest and you've got to kind of lead with your, your why. Which means that when you're talking to somebody like that, you say, I'm making this film, explain to them what you're doing um, and then just kind of ask them what, what you want them to do. Rather than just kind of being a bit awkward about it and just kind of ask them to do this, it really helps you if you explain the reason why you're making the film to them and that way they're going to understand a lot more about it. They're going to be much more willing to comply with what you're doing and much more excited about it. So a lot of the time I'm going to want shots of um, maybe myself doing something in a film. Um, and what I'll do is a lot of my friends have no idea how to even operate a camera. So I always find myself giving them these like micro little lessons of like 20 seconds long saying, this is the focus, this is the zoom, try and get this and this is the rule of thirds. Like just explain to them really fast, try and get this in the shot. Uh, and then I'll give them the camera, kind of, and usually the shot will be okay, it won't be like amazing, but I'll still get the shot, if that makes sense. Um, so that's kind of a rough way around the answer. Another thing that you have to deal with a lot of the time is a slight anxiety and anxiousness about filming in public, uh, especially when you're, if you're vlogging, walking down the street, talking to a phone, especially in a public place, isn't the most um, normal or easy thing to do. You're gonna get looks from people just like, looking at you like, who the, <laughs> what the, f like this is weird. It's like taking selfies to a whole new level. Uh, and basically, you just have to, it's one of those things that you just have to almost think about it a bit logically <clears throat> and just think like, look, I w I, I've had this vision in my mind of something I wanna create. Am I gonna let my thoughts about other people's opinions get in, get in the way of that, right? And if you, if you want to film somebody or something, <clears throat> just ask them. Just go up to them and just say, explain you're making a film, talk to them about it and say, like, are you okay with this? And if they say no, no. If they say yes, then yes. And it's the same, it's the same mindset when you're filming yourself or even being out and about with a camera. I mean, a lot of people are even nervous to kind of get a camera and just go out into the city and just kind of point and shoot at things. They're scared that people will think, oh, they're on their own, they're weird, but in reality, no one actually cares about you. And that is a weird thought to have. And it's a, it doesn't necessarily sound too positive, but really think about it. People actually only care, deep down, people really only care about what other people will think of them. No one actually really judges you uh, most of the time. So when you're walking down the street, filming yourself, the worst thing that's gonna happen is somebody's gonna look at you and think, oh, that's weird. Like that, that's the worst thing that's gonna happen. So there's nothing to be afraid of. Uh, and you should just go out, be confident, take those steps and, and start kind of manifesting your, your visions and actually taking steps towards doing that.